Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. There's a question that everybody's asking right now on FC24. Is the latest SBC that was dropped actually worth it? He's one of the best right backs in the game. He's going to get upgrades, but he's really expensive. And since there's not a whole lot to craft right now, is he worth doing with all the other great right backs that are out there? I want to talk about that today. And we just had one of the biggest EA mistakes yet of these Euro live and upgrading cards as EA accidentally gave some cards some upgrades that they weren't supposed to. It's going to impact some prices and it really means good things for the rest of us that have those cards. Let's talk about that and what's dropping today on this game. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Let's get into yesterday's content that was dropped on Sunday, starting with the two player SBCs that were showdowns. Guys, we keep getting these. I'm not going to complain too much because it's nice and fun cards. And if you're passionate about either of the nationalities represented here by this game or these two SBCs, then it is fun to do. If you're Turkish or Austrian, you're loving these SBCs, right? Grilic for Austria and Selic for Turkey. Selic looks decent as a right wing back. Grilic looks decent as a center defensive mid. They both would need the plus two for the potential win that could be upcoming. And they're both cheap. Grilic is 97k, one squad, and Selic is 60k one squad. So again, another showdown that is fun. Uh, I really think these are just supposed to be fun and really nothing else. Like if EA wanted to make these cracked and super crazy, then they would, but they're not. So that's just kind of the way that it is. I'm not complaining too much about it. It just continues to be the trend with these showdown SBCs there and nice. If you're interested in them, let's go to the upgrade packs real quick and talk about the 91 plus encore icon player pick literally the exact same icon pick that we got last Sunday refreshed again in this game two times repeatable and it does refresh here in a couple days pretty quick um, but it only includes again team one of the greats of the game icons it would have been too early to include the current cards that are in packs let's be honest but we could dream right but this icon player pick you know is it really worth doing for the older icons if unless you're chasing a specific team of the year birthday or maybe like dog leash or somebody from team one Rivaldo of greats of the game is this really worth it to do i'm not entirely sure that it is because it's the same requirements as last time as well 87 88 and 90 rated squads which comes in at a whopping 324,000 coins from scratch value for this sbc so it is one of the best icon player picks that we have had so far and especially of recent days but with all the icons that are in packs right now it kind of makes this not as hype at all as it was last week but that's the struggle right now right it's like I think some people, even myself, are considering doing this SBC because it's like, where do you put your fodder? What SBCs are you crafting right now? What are the best SBCs to craft? Well, we had a big name yesterday, right? We got the Cafu guys. And that's what I want to talk about because there's a whole lot of questions. Even myself, I'm pondering, do I do this Cafu SBC? Because there's so much fodder to go around. I'm probably not going to do Rooney, maybe. But this Cafu is another one that's in the same boat as Wayne Rooney. His price is the big deal that is the big problem. Let's look at the card first, though. 96 rated, four play style pluses, whipped pass, block, quick step, and aerial for a right back. Might actually be kind of nice. You might not think he'll win much being five foot nine, but that aerial plus is no joke. It'll actually make a difference. Five star skills, four star weak foot, high, high work rates. He doesn't have some of the defending playstyles that you would count as necessary at this stage of the game, but I will say this. He is Cafu. Like, if you did the base version of Cafu, you know. He doesn't even need those playstyles. I think base icon Cafu has only four playstyles on his card. Like, he doesn't have that many, but he still performs absolutely incredible in-game. He just kind of has his own, like, body type aura, you might call it. He's just always OP, and I understand that with this card, and maybe that's why EA priced him where they did. Now, of course, he's live and upgrading as well for Brazil. Again, his card is not already upgraded. A lot of people have been asking me about that. Again, it is they are live as of the day of their release. So as of yesterday when he was released, Brazil had not played a game yet for upgrading for his card, even though the R9, the Ronaldinho, already got upgraded with their 99 stats and such. It'll be the Colombia game that'll be the first live game for this Cafu. Now, this is, of course, the issue. 2.1 million coins to get this SBC done. He's actually more squads than Wayne Rooney. It just seems very, very expensive and kind of unnecessary because if this card was on the market, would he be 2 million coins? 
No shot, in my opinion, not with the pack weight of the current promo, but we said the same thing about Wayne Rooney, right? So here's the real thing. Is this an SBC that you would actually want to go ahead and craft, knowing that he's really expensive, knowing that he's probably going to get upgrades, though, and he's going to be one of the best right backs in the game? Is it still something that you want to put your fodder towards in a week where there is so much fodder to go around, right? Like we mentioned, the 85 times fives, the 84 times tens, all the packs from objectives. And given the fact that the promo cards are so packable, there's a lot of like, what, 88 and 89 rated squads inside of this SBC. Sure, you got a couple of 92s, couple 91s, but you got a lot of 89s and 88s, which will be pretty easy to complete with fodder, like the 86s and 7s you get from an 85 times five plus the one-off duplicate icon or hero that you might get from this great to the game promo, that's going to make doing the higher rated SBCs a little bit easier. So that's kind of like the pros as to how you maybe would want to think about doing this SBC. But then if you're like, wow, I'm turning in 2 million coins worth of that fodder. And when I go look at the level 25 right back, who is Jonathan Klaus, who is literally free, who's got whipped pass plus, anticipate plus relentless plus and is still live and upgrading as france played today if they get past belgium right that would be their second win i think and then he would have one more win chance for a double upgrade for a third play style plus and then going to a 96 overall this card's still again live for the potential upgrades too with intercept regular jockey he's got the whipped pass the incisive this is a really, really great card. I know some people who already have this card already are using him and they really like him. Maybe you already have like Frimpong. Like people saw the price of this uh, Cafu SBC yesterday and some of these cards that were right backs that were dropping like went up. Like if you take a look at yesterday's prices for this um, Frimpong, he went from 640,000 coins. The Cafu was leaked and then actually released. He went down to 540K. So we dropped 100,000 coins and then his price went back up. It's actually a little bit undercut right now. He's actually almost 600,000 coins, but his price rebounded almost immediately because people are like, nah, I'm not going to sell my Cafu or my Frimpong to do the Cafu. I'm just going to buy my Frimpong back. So his price kind of went back up. And again, I think a lot of people even myself right now i just got the zanetti great to the game card and he's nuts right he just got an upgrade too i don't know if i want to just put all of my fodder into this sbc so it's a really tough decision because i know a lot of people are just looking for some place to put their fodder here's what i'd tell you to do Go do the loan. Go do the loan for five matches. Try him out in champs. Try him out in rivals. Put him through the ringer, right? Put him in your team. He's going to help with the icon chemistry links as well. If you really like the card, if this is the type of right back that you want at this stage of the game and the loan card plays really well for you and you think you can get it done in these next couple of days, then go for it. That is what I would say. But if you're like, nah, Nate, it's just too much for me. I completely understand that as well. I think it's a 50-50 here on this Cafu. Yes, he's overpriced, and that's kind of the biggest negative, but the upgrades and the fact that he's Cafu, I'm more interested in Cafu than Rooney. Even though Rooney just got an upgrade, I'm going to be completely honest. This Cafu card would be a right back that you could probably use through the rest of the year. There will probably be other right backs that drop that are just as good, if not better than him, but you could use him for the rest of the year. So that's kind of the take there. I know it's all over the place, but I wanted to talk a lot about it because that's probably the biggest question on this game at the moment for a lot of you guys grinding the menus. One other thing about yesterday's content that didn't actually happen, but there were a lot of cards moving on the market for it, and it could happen again today. If you looked around the content drop yesterday and you noticed that some random cards like this Thunderstruck Neymar were up like crazy in price, there was some sort of evolution either leak or pump and dump scheme that was going on because there were so many cards that went from a low price and they like doubled in value or went extinct. This Neymar went from 500K, he was extinct at 1.1 mil for like an hour or two right before content. Now he's back down to 600K because we did not get an Evo. So I don't know if that was a real Evo leak or if it was complete cap, but it happened as well, I think with like foot birthday Hyunmin's son. Uh, I think his card went crazy high up in price as well. Yeah, you see this, right? He went from 170K to 400,000 coins. And now he's back. Actually, still he inflated at 299,300. So if you have any of those, I just say sell it. Um, because, yeah, I don't know if there's really an Evo. If there is, then maybe they'll go up and they'll stay expensive. But you guys know how that works. If they do go, go up and they stay expensive, they won't stay that way for long. Except for like a Neymar, he would probably go extinct. But really, are you going to spend 1.1 mil on Neymar and then put him into probably a paid Evo? I don't know. But that's just kind of the movement on the market I wanted to cover. Now, here's the really interesting thing. This literally just 
happened minutes ago, guys, right before I press record. We are looking at the Festival of Football live upgrades that just dropped literally minutes ago. And EA made a massive mistake, but it actually impacts us in a good way, right? England winning yesterday in dramatic fashion and Spain winning in a very easy fashion has brought a lot of upgrades to this game. We have how many cards is this? Is that 12? No, 16 cards have gotten upgraded, but not all 16 actually deserved. Of course, the deserved ones are the Spain upgrades. Grades, right? Nico Williams had the goal yesterday. He might have had an assist as well, but that was his second goal or assist, uh, and he got that plus one upgrade for that. He's also now on three appearances out of five, so Nico Williams got plus one everywhere except for plus two passing. Pretty nice upgrade there, so that was one of the only make your mark upgrades that was upgraded yesterday, um, and then I want to take a look at the icons, the Spanish icons as well. Fernando Torres, since Spain, scored four goals. That's a double upgrade scenario that is just hit here. And you see that Fernando Torres has gone, his 99 pace stat is pace. They gave him the 99 pace boost, um, which again was the second other stat. There were two stats with a 95 base rating. So they did not boost shooting to 99. They boosted the pace. Again, they always go for like one of the highest stats on the card or the highest closest to 99. So they give the smallest boost to 99 possible. That card looks really freaking good though for 400,000 coins. I wouldn't be surprised if his price maybe goes up a little bit. Oh, it already has. Look, he went from 374. He's now 410k. So he is rising. As you can see on the upgrade screen in game, Carl's Puyol, Javi, and Jabi Alonso all got upgraded uh, with either a playstyle plus like Carlos Puyol, who I was actually able to pack last night on the video. If you guys saw that, how was my uh, Carlos Puyol look now? Because he got a plus one and a fourth playstyle plus. He got, did he get Bruiser? Yeah, he's the, whoa, 97 defense and 97 physical is pretty crazy. So maybe a, a fun card to try, um, but that is there. McManaman got boosted as well. Let's talk about these English upgrades because these are the ones that are pretty crazy. And this is where EA made the mistake. No mistakes with the Spanish upgrades, I believe, but there are mistakes with the English ones. Now, first one I want to look at is Gerard. Guys, if you go to the objectives, if you waited to see if Gerard was going to be worth it, EA just kind of cooked Gerard right here, man. They gave him dead ball plus, which isn't a bad playstyle plus. It's not bad at all, but I think a lot of people were hoping for technical finesse shot, maybe intercept, maybe power shot even, and they gave him dead ball which he does have 90 free kick accuracy so i don't know if you have somebody with dead ball on your team you're probably not excited not that excited for it and now for me tony cruz and the gerard conversation you can really look at the stats and decide for yourself they did give gerard 99 shooting did he already have 99 shooting um i think he, did he already have that maybe he did and i missed it but gerard is up to that fourth play style plus yeah he had 99 shooting already he just got the play style plus Still a good looking card, but now the decision is there for you to choose. That was not the mistake. The mistake is with the path to glories that are England players. Bukayo Saka, Kyle Walker, Joe Gomez, and actually Jordan Pickford getting a 99 stat was a mistake because guys, England have only won two matches in the Euros. They have two straight up wins, which is one short of what they need to get the playstyle plus boost, right? You need three wins to get a playstyle plus boost, but EA just gave it out early. They gave Sokka whipped pass plus, and they gave Kyle Walker um, relentless plus, the Energizer battery. Now, here's the one that's crazy. When you look at Joe Gomez, who a lot of us did as an SBC, it doesn't even show on Foothead right now. Maybe it shows on Foot Bin. Joe Gomez, no, it doesn't show there either. They gave this bro quick step plus. Quick step plus on a center back out of all of the other playstyle pluses they could have given him, that is what they chose. So that is a little bit unfortunate uh, for that one right there. I mean, this card is still live, of course, but quick step plus on a center back. War a card. I guess a right back too. Maybe he's a little more usable there with his medium high work rates and his. Uh, he does have 91 acceleration, so maybe he's going to be super fast and that'll be uh, end up being pretty meta, but pretty interesting for them to choose that instead of like anticipate or intercept plus as they could have for a defender, but they did. And then Pickford now has two 99 stats, 99 kicking and 99 reflexes, which is very, very interesting. So of course you have the icon upgrades that have been released as well. Um, a lot of them are pretty solid since um, 
England only scored two goals yesterday. That is just a simple plus one. It is not the 99 stat as well as the plus one, but you did get like for Charlton right here, you got plus one in every single stat category, just a nice simple plus one for him. And then again, use the in-game message to kind of check out the stats if you want. Shearer got a plus one, McManaman. Uh, Tony, I think, got the chemistry boost as well, but he also had an assist yesterday. I don't think Tony got a stat boost because I don't think he deserves one. But he got the chemistry boost for playing, and he did get the assist on the one goal. So one more assist or goal for him, and he will go to a 94. But yeah, check those out there. Wayne Rooney. I want to look at Wayne Rooney just really, really fast because I know some people are maybe still deciding on whether or not they should do this SBC. Rooney, for me, he got plus one everywhere except for plus two interceptions. Uh, nah, man. I don't know. Sure, there's still the 99 stat to come here. I would imagine they either give him pace or shooting. And if they give him 9-line shooting, does it really feel worth it to do that 2 million coin SBC? You have to decide that one for yourself. But, you know, England have one game to score two more goals to see if that's even possible. So those are the upgrades right there. Um, and yeah, really crazy stuff. Of course, card-wise, price-wise, for some of these PTGs, like, did Walker go up after they got that Phantom 4th playstyle plus edition? He was like 775k. It looks like he is rising a little bit right now. But again, the moral of the story is that these cards still drop after the games. If you take a look at the footbin graphs, Kyle Walker, when England scored the first goal, went up a bunch. And then when they scored the second goal right away, uh, Harry Kane did, he was like 990,000 coins. That was his peak, right? He went from like under 700 to 990 and then came crashing down after the game. Even again, like Pedri, we were talking about it as well. Pedri did not get an upgrade because he was not deserving of one. They had already got the fourth play style plus. So now what we're really waiting on for Spain is a win in the next round to give them a plus one overall to win the quarterfinal. Uh, but his price dropped after the game as well. So as always, selling the hype. And especially as we look forward to today's big matches, France, Belgium, selling that hype, man. I don't know how the Saliba is still 2 million coins and everything else is absolutely tanking. So... Even if um, even if France win today, he's probably going to go down, especially because I believe for the PTGs, which would also include Barcola from a French perspective, they only have one win so far. So even if they win today, just like England was supposed to be, unless EA mess up again, Saliba would not be getting an upgrade after the game today. I know we're looking forward a little bit and reading into that, but again, selling the hype for all the games today. I would include guys like Doku, Lukaku, Trossard, De Ketelera. And then, of course, so many French cards. I'm personally rooting for France today uh, with the icons that I have, with the players that I've gotten. Namely, the Barcola would be super hype. The Klaus would be hype with the upgrade as well. I mean, Desai, Trezeguet, some of the French icons that a lot of us have been packing with the pack weight being pretty good for this promo, sell them in the hype. And then you've also got Portugal versus Slovenia today as well. So if any of you Ruben Diaz investors out there want to sell pregame, that would be the smart decision as well for all of these. But there are big name players on the line today for upgrades. And of course, there will be crashes for whoever loses, right? Especially for the Belgium cards if they lose. If France loses today, it's going to be wild. There's going to be a bunch of prices crashing there. So always selling the hype. One last thing I want to note about the uh, live upgrades and that stuff today is it is an EA holiday today. So I'm really curious to see if we actually get the upgrades A on time and B um, like if we even get them. So that's one thing I'm kind of watching out for because today on Monday is actually Canada Day. So happy Canada Day for you guys in Canada that are celebrating. Just wondering how that'll affect the schedule since it is very daily. And I think it's pretty hands-on because if, if there's a mistake like this with the upgrades, which I think this is the second mistake that has been made, that Vidic upgrade early on was the first one. Um, yeah, I, I think these are pretty manual upgrades. So there's that. Let's talk about the market just a little bit more, especially with these greats of the game icon cards. Cards because, man, I look at a, this team and I think about the prices that I saw last night and I think about the prices that I see now. I think they just keep dropping day over day. I did pick up a couple of Pirlo's at 600K. I sold one at 680, trying to sell the other at 680 as well. Um, most of these cards just are lower, but there were some good fluctuations in and around there. And again, some of them that just got upgraded might have some moves up, like we just saw with Torres. I think people are buying him after his upgrade. People might wake up today and want to try a few of these cards. But historically, during the last couple of weeks, Mondays have not been good days for the market. So 
I would still be really careful with these great to the game cards. I know the content is expected to slow down a little bit. I mean, we had a crazy Friday, crazy Saturday. Yesterday and Sunday was all right, nothing super bad. Still a decent day. And of course, the craft is still ongoing and everything like that is really, really good. Um, but I think the content would slow down a little bit. But still, that might mean that these cards are getting packed a lot, tradable and untradable wise. And people are spending coins on store packs, which is devaluing the market and taking coins off of the game, which might lower some of those prices. So it's still pretty mudded this market for sure. And yeah, the PTGs, look for panic here. I bought a DePaul yesterday at 1.15, sold them for 1.37. These PTG cards that are still live and in action, they have the panic sells, they have the drops, um, and then they rebound because they're rare and they're still live, right? This Davies was 1.2 and now he's back up to 1.4. So if you time the fluctuations right, you can make some pretty good coins, but you can also lose some big coins if you don't. So just be careful. Again, Mondays usually aren't great days for the market, but we will have to see. The one little investment tip I do want to put out for you guys right now is look ahead towards the middle end of this week. Start thinking about those Brazilian players that might be good investments for the Brazil Weekend League object. Whoa, 310? That's very low for Marquinhos. Your boy's going to snag that. Guess we're investing in Brazilian cards now. Um, so watch out for that because I think some people are going to start thinking about that. Some of the prices are actually already starting to creep up there. And I think it could be a good opportunity to get in before more people do that. So do, go do a little research. Find some Brazilian cards that are maybe down. Because I think a Brazil Weekend League objective is coming this Wednesday. That's what people expect. Um, and you would probably want to sell on the hype just to be uh, safe. Because there's a lot of people investing there. But something to think about because prices there might still be uh, have some room to go up. So let's talk about Monday content today, though. What are we dropping in EA? First day of July. What are you dropping for us today? Well, the 82 plus player pick, which I actually focused on solely yesterday in the stream opening these player picks, and I packed five heroes or icons great to the game. Now, they were all pretty much fodder, but uh, these were given out yesterday, and I wanted to get into these and do some 82 plus picks before they went away because I had seen a lot of you guys tweeting me some insane pulls. Now, these go away today. What's going to replace it? Well, we know EA's schedule. 82 plus player pick goes away. 81 plus player pick comes back to replace it. Now, two weeks ago, we had the one of four 81 plus pick, which people weren't a huge fan of because... It was 11 rare golds, but also that week, the craftability of the menus was not very good. This week, an 81 plus player pick that's a one of four, even though it maybe requires 11 uh, golds, may not even be a problem because the crafting upgrade, all the packs that you get there, all the exchanges, all the objective packs giving you high rated fodder to put in exchanges and get more commons. I think an 81 plus player pick like we had last week, I guess, not two weeks ago, would still be feasible this week. I wonder if the one of four option would actually make us see more promo cards with the weight that we see. So I think we're going to get the 81 plus pick today, and I'm assuming it's going to be 11 golds required. That's one thing to kind of watch out for. Probably a couple of rares as well. Of course, the crafting upgrade is the king, right? And I'm going to be focusing on these today and through the rest of this week. I wanted to do some picks yesterday before they went away just because these 82 pluses have been sick. Hit a couple of these before content today if you want because they really, really were banging yesterday. I mean, people tweeting me R9s, Dino's, Zidane's, and like Pirlo is very common, it seems, in these 82 plus picks. Now, not everybody's going to get that, but it's worth a try. So today we could also get with a Monday player pick scenario. We usually get two, right? Hopefully we get the 85 plus because that one usually gives a lot better weight on the promo cards. If you're going to try to get invested for that or maybe check your club for that, you just probably will need some 84s. I think it's an 84 rated squad they did before for that. So make sure you get a couple of those. Maybe the low tier fodder can have a little bit of a bump today, tomorrow, Wednesday with some of the other packs that could come out. We'll have to watch pack code actually to see if there's going to be any sort of like guaranteed packs for this promo, that could really slap with the icons that are out. Usually EA don't like to do that sort of thing. We have had that though for the Make Your Mark promo and for two weeks of that promo actually, and for PTG, we had the guaranteed SBCs or like these. So we'll really be curious about that tomorrow and that low rated fodder could be very helpful for that. Now, player SBC wise, again, we're looking at our leaked player list. Casillas is probably the next biggest player that could make some moves on this game because a Casillas card is going to be completed by so many people. Just to shout this out once more, if Casillas gets a card, it is going to really hurt goalkeepers. I'm just saying, he might be an objective. 
He might be an SBC. However he drops, that's going to be a card a lot of people will want to use because his Thunderstruck card was mental. If I had to guess for an SBC today, I'm going to say we're going to get a hero. I'm going to say either Mascherano or maybe Figo, if I had to guess an icon. That's just a pure guess, though. But we should get one of these player SBCs today. That's almost 100% guarantee. And the last thing to watch out for would maybe be another objective, which your boy is very far behind. In the bonus objective that was like, what was it? The the Copa, yeah, evolution bonus. I forgot that this expires today. Your boy needs to play 11 games of squad battles. Frick. All right, that's going to be a grind, but these packs are actually worth it. 87 times 2, 83 times 20. That's a whole lot of fodder coming my way if I can get these done. Maybe we get another one of these today, although the evolutions are kind of fizzling out for the Euro and Copa Festival of Football stuff. But uh, hey, E8, we would love some XP. We would love some XP. I know a lot of people are getting towards the end of the season, but a little bit more XP. Maybe if they dropped it today, that would be cool as well. Also something to watch out for because it could impact the market after content is if they refresh the store packs. They did not run any lightning rounds yesterday. And I, I don't remember if they refresh the store packs or not because I've opened a 600K on Friday. I have not opened the 725K yet. This one still shows one for me. And I'm pretty sure that it showed two at the beginning. So we'll see if they refresh those because that could impact the market because people will be spending coins on these. And maybe some people will even sell cards to open these, which is very risky because um, those packs are very hit or miss but I could imagine some people doing it. So I've got a couple of flips that I'm still working through right now. I bought a couple of Jude Bellingham's yesterday after the uh, insane bicycle kick goal that he had, just because I was like, you know what? People are going to want to get on the game and use this card. So we bought him for under 1.1. He's chilling around 1.2 mil right now. Hopefully we can sell him today as people want to use that card. And I did pick up a Charlton for 1.09. Um, and he's really, really rare. I do believe that people are going to want to wake up and try this card today because I mean, it's Charlton, and he still has another upgrade there, and he looks pretty cracked. So we're going to hold on to that one, but I'm probably going to get most of these flips out by the content drop today just so I don't have to worry about it. But hopefully the player pick that comes back today is good and uh, maybe a decent player SBC. But let me know in the comments if you're doing Cafu or if you're not doing Cafu because that's the biggest question right now in this game. I'm undecided. I'm going to wait for Brazil's game tomorrow on Tuesday probably before I decide that. And if you're going to wait along with me as well, uh, on that, I mean, I think there's still enough time towards the end of this week. If you have objective packs left and if you have some crafting upgrades left, you'll be able to craft him uh, with this good menu grind that is still going on. Best of luck if you're opening packs as well. Keep tagging me on Twitter. I go to my mentions all the time and I'm getting tweets, man. I love to see it. What's this recent one? Zidane on the companion app in a two-player pack? Crazy, man. You never know when lightning is going to strike. Have a great week, guys. It's been Nathan Wood Accountant. I will see you guys in the Twitch stream today. That link's down below in the description. Peace.